Welcome to our lecture online. Next, let's take a look at the power dissipated in a resistor. The equation tells us that it's equal to the current squared times the resistance. Now, we know the units for power is watts, joules per second, so the units of I squared times R should indeed be joules per second. Let's find out if they are. We already have worked out the units for resistance, ohms, which in the previous video we showed that it's equal to kilograms meter squared per second times coulomb squared. So let's go ahead and plug in what we have here for units. So this would then become units for current is amps. So we have amps squared and the units for resistance we now know is kilograms meters squared per second times coulomb squared. Now an amp is a coulomb per second. So we can replace that with the following. That would be coulomb squared per second squared times kilogram meter squared per second times coulomb squared. And notice we have a coulomb squared here and a coulomb squared, so the coulombs are gone. Now we have kilograms meters per second squared, that's equal to a newton. Let's write that down here. So a newton is the same as a kilogram meter per second squared. So we're going to take the kilogram, one of the meters, and the second square and convert that to a newton. So this can now be written as newton. I still have one meter left, so we have a meter. The second square is gone, but we still have a second there. Now we realize that a newton meter, that's equal to a joule. So this can be written as a joule per second. And of course, that's the definition of a watt. A watt is a joule per second, so this can now be written as the units of watt which means we've just shown that the equation power equals I squared R does indeed give us the units for Watt. Now we also have an equation that, that gives us the power supplied to a resistor and that can be written as power is equal to the current times the voltage. Well that should also have units for, uh, for Watts or units for power which is Watts and let's see here we need to find a way to write the units for voltage. Now, the definition of voltage, voltage can be defined as being equal to the electric field times the distance traveled to the field, and so therefore the units for voltage is equal to the units for the electric field, which is newtons per coulomb, and the distance would be equal to meters. So newton per coulomb times meter is the units for voltage. We can go ahead and plug that in here and see what we get. So the units for current is amps, and the unit for voltage now we realize is going to be newton meters per coulomb. Now amp can be written as coulombs per second. So this is equal to coulombs per second times newton meters per coulomb. And of course the coulombs cancel out and now we have newton meters per second while well, newton meters is joules and now we have joules per second and just like before you can see that's the definition of power. The units are watts. And oh, not a very good W there. There we go. And so you can see that that equation also shows that it has units equal to watts, means that the power equation does appear to be correct. And that's how it's done.